Welcome back to the channel. My name is Reeve and today we are going to be taking a look at Temporos. In this simple guide, I'll be showing you what you need to get started with Temporos, how to get there, how to do the boss, and of course, what the rewards are. The only actual requirement that you need to start Temporos is 35 fishing. That's it. If you don't have 35 fishing, I would highly recommend taking a look at the Sea Slug quest. It takes no more than 10 minutes and will grant you just over 7k fishing XP, which means if you're currently level 1, it will instantaneously take you to 23 once it's completed. So, if you have 35 fishing, then the next thing you'll need is what you're going to wear. If you have the full angler's outfit from the fishing trawler minigame, then it's suggested to bring it, as it gives you a 2.5% increase in fishing XP. Also, this can be upgraded to the Spirit Angler's Outfit with 4800 Spirit Flicks, which are a reward from Tempros, which we'll get into later. With the upgraded outfit equipped, it can be used also as a rope, which saves you an inventory space. If you don't have the Angler's Outfit, then you can bring your Graceful Set for the increased run regeneration of 30%. And if you don't have either of these, that's also completely fine. Just try to avoid wearing any armor and or equipment. Now that you have your ward equipment sorted, the next thing that you're going to need to know is how to get there, and in fact it's actually quite easy. The only thing that you need to do is run southwest to Valcarid and choose the ferry option on the ferryman southward and it will take you directly there. The only thing is, don't forget the 10 GP that might take you to get through to get to Alcarid, and if you do forget, well, there's always those pair goblins outside that we've been farming for years for 10 GP. Now that you have your outfit sorted, this is what your typical inventory setup will look like. You'll need a rope, hammer, harpoon and 5 buckets. These are all obtainable at Temporos however, once you actually board to fight the boss. Now that you have your inventory and outfit chosen, Temporos works very much like Winter Todd in terms of it works off a points based system. These points are then converted into something called permits. How many points you get will affect how many permits you receive at the end. For Temporos you will receive one permit up to the first 2000 points that you get. Then you will receive one extra permit for every 700 points gained after that with a max cap of 15 permits. With soloing Temporos you can probably expect anywhere between 7 and 10 permits per game. So, now that you hopefully understand how the point system works, you'll need to understand how to actually get points. There are currently 7 ways to achieve points. The first thing that you can do is fish harpoon fish, which will get you 5 points per fish. You can do this by clicking on the designated fishing spots on the island. Be sure to look out for the green spots, as these spots can have a chance of giving you double the harpoon fish. The second thing you can do is cook the harpoon fish, which will get you 10 points per fish. It's recommended to do this especially during a solo, as this will increase the amount of damage they deal when they are used as ammo. Then, once you have cooked your harpoon fish, you can deposit the harpoon fish. This will get you 65 points per cooked fish. You can deposit the harpoon fish into any crate beside a cannon on the ship. The fourth thing you will earn you points is repairing the totems and masts around the island. You'll get 40 points per repair. So essentially how this works, eventually the totems and the masts will get damaged and will be need to be repaired. This will also give you a little bit of construction XP. The next thing is extinguishing the fires. You get 40 points per fire. After Temporos's lightning attack, these will spawn. These can be put out with a bucket of water. The second to last thing that you can do is survive the wave, which will get you 10 points per wave. To survive this, all you need to do is tether yourself to a totem or a mast. And finally, the last thing that you can do is harpoon the spirit pull. This will get you 55 points per attack. Once Temporos' energy bar is drained at the top left, you'll be able to fish the pulls beside him. And finally, before we hop into the fight, you should be aware that if you're hit by one of Temporos' attacks, you can lose some of the fish that you've gathered, and also some of the equipment that you've been using, with the exception of Barbed Tail, Dragon, Inferno, and Crystal Harpoons. It is important that you should know what to look out for while doing Temporos, as his attacks can be a little bit annoying to deal with, but much easier once you know what you're looking for. They also do not deal any sort of damage, however, they do disrupt your movement and can move you several tiles. With that being said, there are three attacks you need to look out for. The first attack is a wave attack. A wave attack can be spotted by your screen slowly turning to blue and eventually completely turning blue. This can be negated by tethering to a totem on the island or a mast on the ship. The second attack is a lightning attack. This will be visible by large grey clouds that move across the island and ship. These clouds will emit lightning which will cause a fire. These fires will spread if they are not dealt with and you can extinguish them by using a bucket of water. And last but not least, the torrent attack. This is a swirling pillar of water that is ejected towards a cannon on either of the ship. And if you're currently using this cannon, you will be stunned and the cannon will be unusable for a while. 
To avoid this, you can just step away and use the other cannon beside it. And as a final note, Tempros will not use any of these attacks during the last 10% of his energy bar. So, now that that is taken care of, we're about to jump into Tempros. I am going to speed it up, but I'll slow it down at the important bits. We're about to jump in. If you haven't already filled your buckets up, you can fill them up just the left hand side there with the yellow pipe. Once we eventually load in, you will always spawn on the west side of the island on that ship. What you want to do first of all is run down and click on a fishing spot. At this point, it literally doesn't matter. Your only objective right now is to get between 8 or 9 fish. Once you've done that, what you want to do is run over and cook them at the shrine. Then once you see that green spot, you always want to go over and fish it because it gives you a chance at double the fish. You should be able to get a full inventory here before the first special attack comes in for Tempros. By the way, the first special attack that comes in for Tempros will always be a wave. So hopefully you'll be able to get a full inventory before the wave attack comes in. Make sure you just stay tethered to the mast. It will automatically untether you as well once temp process attack is done. So now that you have all of the fish, you're just going to run back over and cook it at the shrine again until you have a full inventory of cooked harpoon fish. Now with the fires coming in as well, you want to extinguish them. Make sure you don't run through any of the fires because it will get rid of some of the items in your inventory except for the items that we discussed earlier. So once they're extinguished, there's always one that spawns on the ship as well. Make sure you run back over and keep your buckets fully topped up. Then all you do is load the cooked harpoon fish into one of the cannons. There's this swirling attack as well that affects one of the cannons on either of the ships. And you'll see in the top left, his energy bar is slowly depleting down as well. There's another wave attack when he goes underneath, you gotta tether yourself to the mast. Again, it will automatically untether you, and then once he is submerged, you can run over and start harpooning the spirit pool. Also, you see in the top left here that this energy will start to slowly regenerate over time. So once his energy is back at 100%, you want to run back over and start harpooning the fish at the spots again. Again, remember to pick up the green spots if you're able to do so. After the green spot spawns, his wave attack comes in. Make sure you tether to the totem. Again, if the totem or the mast is damaged, make sure you repair it. Also, as long as you have a home, you'll also get a little bit of construction XP for it. Again, the fires are coming in. These are visible by the lightning clouds and the dark spots on the ground. Make sure you have those full buckets to extinguish them. And now, once you have a full inventory, what you need to do is go back over to the shrine and cook them all again. So once you have a full inventory again, you're going to go up and deposit the cooked harpoon fish. However, if you're doing solos here as well, just one thing I forgot to mention. On the second phase, which is the phase that we're on now, you're not actually going to fish the spirit pools on this phase. The reason that you do this is because it'll get you more permits over the long run than what it will do if you kill them. So again, on the second phase, we don't attack him. We just go back to what we did on the first phase. Then, as soon as the green swat spawns, you want to instantaneously head over to it. 
wave attack comes in, just make sure you tether the totem pole again. And that's it, you just go back to cooking your raw harpoon fish. Same situation, rinse and repeat once they're all cooked in your inventory. And here in this situation, one of the fires up on the ship was blocking one of the pipes to fill back up my water again, so I went to the pipe on the bridge. I doused this fire on the ship as well and used the water pump to fill my buckets back up. You can see to me that cannon on the right there has been hit by Tempros' swirling attack. Those blue lightning lines along it will indicate that the cannon is out of use. And then once your inventory is empty of cooked harpoon fish, you want to run back down to the bridge near the spirit pool and just harpoon the spirit pool. And once Tempros has been subdued, congratulations on the KC. Now all you have to do is run over to either of the first mates on the side, right click and hit the leave option. And finally, just before we do get into the last section of it guys, if you did find this video helpful or useful in any way, please do drop a like as it helps me out a ton. Also, if you want any further questions on that Tempros, feel free to swing by the Twitch stream, I'll link it in the description below. Probably the main reason why you do Tempros in the first place, the rewards. Here are some of the notable ones on screen. Thank you very much for watching the video, it is tremendously appreciated. Have a lovely day and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh my god, so zoomy. Meow. Sonic!